Hey guys, it's Michael here. So today I wanted to show you how to get Dratini candy because they have become really scarce. Nests are disappearing faster than ever. Um, plus nests are good. They're really good for some Pokemon who are common, but like there are still Dratini locations where they spawn more than others, but it's not as effective as a nest. When it comes to that point where it gets that rare, this is the best method to do, is what I'm going to show you. Uh, but before we get started, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so everyone can find it who's looking for these Dratini candy. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any more awesome videos. So, what I'm using here today is PokemonRadarGo.com, which is also known as PokeRadar. And I will also be using the Teleport Hack app with this tap to walk and the teleport feature up here. If your app can teleport, you're good to go. All we're going to be doing really is sniping Dratini, and I know I've made videos before on how to get rares by sniping them, but a lot of people didn't know. Now on Pokemon Radar Go, you can get anything. Doesn't matter what it is. So all you do is you go to the website here, PokemonRadarGo.com, you click search, you just click the Dratini. And as you can see, they're all popping up here, and so you can basically get as many candies as you want as fast as you can. Just depends on how fast you can type. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to just see how many I can get how quickly. So first one is here at 33.962994 minus 118.45 2863. So let's go ahead and see. Just click move. And we got to wait for it to load. Sometimes it takes a minute to load. There it is. You see it right there. And there it is. Boom. First Dratini of the day. So before you try to catch this thing, you're going to get a soft ban if you throw this ball or if you check the Pokestop there. So we're going to hit teleport you got to teleport back to wherever you came from. So I already made a home coordinate. It's actually it's La Brea Tar Pits, so I can just click either one. I'll teleport back there. Boom. Now I'm back in my home location, which I set to La Brea Tar Pits. I'm there now, so I can throw this. I won't get soft banned. If that confused you, just go and watch my last video, How to Catch Any Rare in Seconds, or also How to Catch Rares in Seconds. Like, I've made several updated videos on this. I think the last one is down in the description, and it's the best explanation of this that I've done so far. Oh, he jumped right over it. So let's go and get started. Well, now we're lagging. Now we're lagging out. There we go. Oh my gosh, right as I throw it. Stop this, Rutini. I don't even remember how many Pokeballs I brought. I haven't played on this account in forever. I just got done with my 100k giveaway where I gave away an account, so I spent a ton of time on that. Plus, I've been building some other accounts in case a ban ever happens, which it has not for me or anyone that I actually know. Um, but if it ever does, I want to have several accounts with full Pokedex ready. Oh, that one's gone now. Let's go zoom out. Uh-oh, looks like my internet might be going out. We are experiencing some serious lag here, but I caught a Dratini. I think here in this house, I'm too far from the Wi-Fi, so I keep getting these timeouts. Oh, this is frustrating. Okay, well, I caught my first Dratini. Um, see if I can fix it. Okay, there he is. Oh, whoop, now we're back. Well, you saw him for a second there. He flashed up. Okay, so now let's refresh this. There you go. There's one right there. So we're going to go teleport to him. He is at 33.762765 minus 118.180606. Nice and easy. There we are. Okay, it looks like we're back to normal running speed and not lagging. So where is he? We gotta wait for this to load. So if you don't see any Pokestops or anything, give it a minute. It sometimes takes a while to load. Like now. Waiting to load. <sighs> Come on. I don't have time for this. I'm making a video. Fast candies. Trying to get those fast candies. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, a Psyduck too. So we're just going to click the Dratini. Teleport back home. Every time. Don't forget to teleport back to wherever you started. Wherever you're not soft banned from when you start, that's where you want to catch. Because you are not soft banned there. 
but you will be if it thinks that you're trying to catch this guy halfway across the world. So all I did here was I found a coastline. I'm just on the west coast, so around LA and so forth. I can go, if I'm not finding something here, I could even go up to San Francisco, even, you know, Santa Barbara. I mean, I can zoom out as far as I want and be refreshing this, but I've found there's always something here in the LA area. So no need to go way out there. What was this one I just caught? Was it this one? Yeah, it was that one. So let's go for this one now. So as you can see, catching Dratini like crazy, really as fast as you can type. 840834 longitude minus 118 point three nine one two five three so this is way more efficient than walking up and down a coastline and hoping for them to spawn if you can't tell already right now you'd still be walking down to one point then you get there and you go oh no it's not there then you walk all the way back up to another point you can also do this with dragon airs but they're just harder to catch if you still want to use poke snipers or something which i don't know why you would because this is so much faster um, but yeah, this is how I did it before I would do dragon airs on poke snipers, but now that you can catch anything here, I just go straight for the Dratini because they have the lower CP and are easier to catch. Uh, did he pop? Yep, there he is. Now we're going to teleport back home. So this is by far the best method. If you're not convinced by now, then you are probably a crazy person or you have a better me method. And in that case, please share it with me so I can share it with the class here because this is the best way I know. This is super fast. I just caught, what did I catch, three already? At least three, and that was with all the lag. Okay, so there are two now over here. Oh yeah. Wait, that's the one I caught, and there's another one right next to it, perfect. So kind of try to remember the ending coordinates. So like, I remember this one ended in 0606, that's how I know I already caught that one. That's how I know I can go to this one. So this might be a little nest down here, whatever that is, if you want to look into that. I may still make nest videos for people who want to walk. 762358. Minus 118.2251. Whoa, that can't be right. No, forget it. Hang on, I got 118, I forgot. 182251. I got confused there. Okay, that's got to be right. Boom, on the water, just where I want to be. That looks, yes, like where I need to be. So where is that? There's my Dratini. Teleport back home. This is, I don't know what this is. Shoreline. Shoreline Aquatic Park. Down in where you park your boats, I guess. Okay, move, now we're back. Man, we're getting some good low CP Dratini, which is perfect for candies. They're super easy to catch and they get the same amount of candies as those insanely hard ones. Oh. Uh, not hitting it that great right now. Okay, let's go ahead and start looking for our next one. We caught those two down there. We can zoom way down here. Is this a new one, 10 minutes? I don't think I caught that one, did I? Darn it, that might be the one I caught, I just don't remember it. So I'm going to go to a totally different, I'm going to go to this lower Newport Beach location. Ends in 417. Jeez, this guy. Oh man, I thought the circle was about to go big again and it did not. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey. All right, going to the next one. Here it is. 33.6060049. Minus 117.927417. So, I hope this is informative to you guys because you can do this with anything now, as I've been saying. But I know a lot of you didn't watch the last video where I announced that. Because um, it's kind of hard to title these things where you guys know what they actually are. <laughs> so I just kind of have to hope you watch them sometimes and get the info. And then sometimes I'll make more videos like this just reiterating it over and over, hoping that more people will find it in different ways. People looking for 
specific Pokemon, but I don't think it's that widely known yet that you can catch literally, you can snipe anything. I know everybody knows you can snipe rares. That video I made has over 2 million views, so I know a lot of people know that, but they don't know that now you can also snipe anything anywhere, so you don't really need nests unless you just like them, which sometimes I do like just going around and seeing where they're going to pop up. Okay, there's the two in Long Beach and the one in Redondo, so I'd say... Did I catch two in San Diego or just one? Shoot. Uh, is this the one I caught or am I just making things up? No, wait, stop. This is the one I caught. That one's gone anyway. We're going to try this one. I hope it's not the same one I just caught. Darn it. I can't remember the coordinates. 680. That's 117.179. 734, that kind of sounds familiar. We'll know in one minute. And if you ever teleport somewhere that you've already been or it's a bad location or something, you don't have to teleport home first, you can just teleport to the next one. As long as before you throw the ball or check a stop, you are back at your home location, then you won't get a soft ban. So we gotta wait for it to load and it'll pop up pretty much right away if it's here. So we'll see in a minute. Maybe I'll head up to San Francisco. Pier 39 is always good. Oh, there's 10 right here. There's 9, 8, oh, well, as I zoom in. Good amount up here. Oh my gosh, this is a Pier 39? I need to just walk around here. There were not this many the other day when I went there. That is amazing. They Maybe they did another update where they brought back a Dratini nest. That may be my next video, going to Pier 39 and actually seeing if that is true. I'll just keep making Dratini Nest videos, figuring out the best way to do this. Well, I mean, as you can see, I've caught, what, probably maybe six now? That's six right there. So if you, the only thing is, I like to use Pokemon Go++ for that. And it's a little harder to teleport with Pokemon Go++. It involves a computer. But if you have a computer and you're interested in doing that, it's easiest on a Mac. Otherwise, you have to get OSX on your PC, which is a little more involved. If you have a Mac and you want to teleport with your Pokemon Go Plus Plus, so you have your little radar map, um, that's down. Pokemon Go Plus Plus is in the description, and the how to teleport with it is a little bit lower down in the description. Come on. Okay, but this is a huge discovery right here, because I have not seen that many there since the last update, not even close to that. I was walking around getting way less than I used to, but this looks a lot more like it used to. Well, now you can see there's only five, but that's still a lot. Five is a lot. Five is a good, happy number. Okay, this guy's a little high CP. Oh my gosh. Whoa, if you zoom out, there's even more. I could definitely be running up and down. I mean, this is a little far, but if you stick kind of between this part down there. Although the other problem is once you catch all those six, it could be a while before any more show up. But I don't know, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they're just always spawning now. Okay, so this is going to be my last Dratini for this video. I have no idea how many I caught. I hope you guys were counting. But the point is, you can catch them nonstop. You never have to wait for anything. Whereas even if you were walking, there's a bunch here, but you still have to wait till you get to the next one. Whereas here it takes me a few seconds to type coordinates. So I would still say this way is probably faster. Going up and down the pier is probably a little more fun. Plus, if you're just looking for Stardust or literally anything else, Pier 39 spawns tons of stuff. That's Pier 39 in San Francisco. Just Google it if you've never heard of it. If you've seen any of my videos, you've probably heard of Pier 39. I go there a lot. Okay, so I don't know how many Dratini did I catch this many? Probably six or seven. I probably caught, yeah, I definitely caught all seven of those because I don't think I had any other ones to begin with. I'm guessing I caught all seven. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope that helps you get a huge and beefy Dragonite. Here are some of my huge and beefy Dragonites. Oh, this guy's not maxed out. A couple of them are not maxed out. So I'm going to go keep getting some candies. But I think I'm going to keep saving my Stardust because it's such a pain to get Stardust. Um, I made a video, Fastest Way That I Get Stardust. It's also at Pier 39 is where I do it. So get familiar with Pier 39. Go watch that video if you want. Just look up Fastest Stardust in my playlist or something um that's gonna be it yeah 4,000 stardust for one level up I'm gonna pass on that for now so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did 
please make sure to give this a thumbs up. Let me know what else you would like. Would you like to just see me sniping Pokemon? People seem to love that. Um, if not, then what other videos would you like to see? Hopefully I'll be coming out with some new hack videos when the new update comes out. I hope I can get those up pretty quickly. I'm here for the next three days not doing much, so hopefully it comes out soon. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this video. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.